life in the fast lane. That's right, boys and girls. This Sunday is WWE Fast Lane. And I thought we would do these predictions in a car because fast lane, cars, you understand why. So, this is going to be the final stop on the road to WrestleMania. Things are going to happen. Big things. So, let's get into my predictions. First up, the Intercontinental Championship on the line. Big E taking on Apollo Crews, the new Apollo Crews. Now, this could go either way. It all depends where WWE wants to take the IC title at WrestleMania. Will it be one-on-one? -on -one? Will it be some sort of ladder match? Right now, we just don't know. I am leaning towards Big E because I think he is a main eventer for the future. I think Big E needs to go into WrestleMania as champion, have a big win at WrestleMania. So I think he's retaining, beating Apollo Crews, holding onto that belt all the way through WrestleMania. Next up, it is McIntyre taking on Sheamus. Now, Drew McIntyre is taking on Lashley for the WWE title at WrestleMania. So, you need Drew McIntyre to look strong, to look dominant, to win, basically. You don't want him losing and then going to face Lashley. That doesn't make any sense. So, Drew McIntyre gonna win, Sheamus gonna lose. That's how it's gonna go down. Next up, it is a tale as old as time. David versus Goliath. Shane McMahon taking on Braun. There's no room to do it in there. <laughs> Braun Strowman. Now, I love Shane McMahon. I want Shane McMahon to win. Shane McMahon is one of my favorites. Don't ask me why. We're not going to get into that right now. But Shane McMahon, he has been calling Braun Strowman stupid. And I think he's going to do something this Sunday to make Braun Strowman look even more stupid. Maybe Braun forgets to get back in the ring and Shane wins by count out. Maybe Braun forgets to tie his shoelaces. He's going to do something stupid that helps Shane McMahon, one of my favorites, pick up the win and I'm going to be a very happy guy on Sunday. Next, the women's tag team Titles. It is champions Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler with Reginald taking on Sasha Banks and Bianca Belair. Those two are meeting at WrestleMania. So this could be very interesting. You know WWE loves doing firsts. So could this be the first time ever that tag team champions meet for a singles title at WrestleMania? I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say WWE wants to make Sasha Bianca history making. First time ever women's tag team champions taking on each other at WrestleMania for the SmackDown women's title. History or herstory will be made. So Sasha and Bianca for the win. The universal title. On the line, the big dog, Roman Reigns, taking on Daniel Bryan with either Edge or Jey Uso as the special enforcer. To be honest, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter if Edge is a special enforcer or Jey Uso is a special enforcer. Either way, Roman Reigns is retaining. There is no chance in hell. No chance. Roman Reigns is losing that belt before WrestleMania. It's not going to happen. Never. Daniel Bryan is a great wrestler, an awesome superstar, but it's Roman Reigns. It is clear as day. Roman Reigns winning. And finally, put on your seatbelts because this one is going to be a crazy ride. It is... Randy Orton taking on Alexa Bliss. Intergender match. Now, I don't think we're going to see many headlocks, wrist locks, clothes lines, 
arm drags. It's going to be cinematic. It's going to be storyline focused. And I think we're going to see the return of The Fiend. What is The Fiend going to look like? That's the big question. It's very exciting. And if there is a winner, I mean, there might not even be a winner. The, the Fiend might show up and the match is forgotten about. But if there's going to be a winner, it's going to be Alexa Bliss. Maybe The Fiend shows up or takes the place of Alexa Bliss and The Fiend beats Randy Orton. But Randy Orton is not winning this match. Whatever happens. But I am 100... I'm 99% sure we're going to see the new Fiend return on Sunday. And it is going to be one crazy ride. I can't wait. I will be doing my reactions, especially to that match. So stay tuned for those because they are going to be off the chart. I promise you that. So guys and girls, those are all of my Fastlane 2021 predictions. Let me know yours in the comments below. Join me on Sunday for the hype party. And Fastlane, what have you got? Show us something awesome. I'm pretty sure WWE's got something up their sleeve and I can't wait to see it. Thanks everybody for watching. Hit the like button, hit subscribe, and I'll see you all very, very soon.